Hi guys, this is Hugh. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Russia. It's the first day of proper spring here in Moscow. Finally, we're celebrating spring because it's finally warm here. I don't have to wear a hat. I don't have to even zip my jacket. It is so warm today. So right now I'm at Leninsky Gorky Park, which is like a Lenin's Hills. And we celebrate end of Maslenitsa week. So you can see that a lot of people here and follow me, I will show you around. Honestly, it's my first time over here. So it's supposed to be a Lenin's castle and a giant park around. Oh my God, it's a real huge festival. I didn't expect that many people in here. So over there, if you can see big giant doll, we're going to burn it soon. So it's a record high doll that will be in fire. <laughs> Russian Maslenitsa, also known as Maslenitsa or Butter Week, is a traditional Slavic festival celebrated in Russia and other Slavic countries. It marks the end of winter and the arrival of spring. Maslenitsa is a joyful and lively celebration characterized by various customs and rituals. The word Maslenitsa is derived from the Russian word Masla, which means butter or oil. This main building behind me is actually Lenin's Museum and it was built in 1987 and currently it's also a voting station because this weekend president elections happening in Russia. I'm very happy to see that how many families are here with their kids, with dogs, like it's a big family celebration and it is very positive. At the heart of Maslenitsa is the tradition of making and eating blini, which are thin pancakes made from butter consisting of flour, eggs, milk and butter. This blini symbolizes the sun and the warmth of spring. During Maslenitsa, people gather with family and friends to enjoy these pancakes, often with an array of toppings such as butter, sour cream, caviar, jams, honey or condensed milk. Aside from feasting on blini, Maslinsa involves many other activities. One of the most iconic customs is building a Maslinsa effigy, often made of straw or wood, which represents winter. Throughout the week-long celebration, people engage in various activities, including folk music and dance, sleigh ride, snowball fights, and traditional games. The giant doll fell down. It means that winter is over. Yay! Thank you. 
Can you see something under my eye? Tomorrow I will wake up with a blue eye, like in cartoons. <laughs> it happened because I was playing a gun game. I didn't win a toy, very sad. Although I'm very good at this game. So the gun actually is very proper gun, like uh, the real one. So I leaned towards the gun and it hit me to my face, like, what? The fire is over now. Firemen uh, distinguish the rest of the doll. They should have explained the safety rules first, so they didn't, that you shouldn't lean very closely to the gun. Overall, I really like this festival because you can see a lot of nice people here. Everyone is so nice and positive. Nice weather, you can try Russian food here, buy Russian souvenirs, play cool games. And yeah, it's a very positive day today. Masins also has a symbolic aspect related to the Christian calendar. It precedes the start of Lent, a period of fasting and reflection observed by Orthodox Christians. Therefore, Masins serves as a last opportunity to indulge before the solemnity of Lent begins. Honestly, it was really interesting today and the journey took me two hours. This place is kind of remote. This Lenin museum was so, so impressive. So it deserves separate video on it, definitely. So I had to take suburban train to get over there and back. It was like a traveling to another universe, guys, because it's so far away and lifestyle there. It's a little bit different, you know? <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for staying with me today. If you're interested to learn more about Russia or about my life, you can watch my previous vlogs because I have so many of them on my channel. And you can consider to send me a donation or become my sponsor as always. Thank you guys for staying with me here until the end of this video. And I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye bye.